everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna show you how to entertain your three years old at home especially during this coronavirus pandemic i have more than 30 activities that i will show you in this video some of them are montessori inspired some of them are house chores that you can do at home some of them are like diy items so make sure you check out till the end because some of them can uh, entertain them for one to three hours some of them can entertain them for about 10 to 15 minutes if you need like uh, some quiet time and this is the current situation in canada this is the grocery store near our place usually it's really quiet but now everything is gone like the toilet paper the bread the meat and also the flour but uh, justin trudeau already mentioned that we don't need to worry because they will stock it up again later on for the groceries and i made tons of uh, like video before about the grocery haul during the coronavirus pandemic so make sure you check them out as well i'm gonna put the link below so for the first part i'm gonna start with brandon's favorite so he can play this for one to three hours and this one is kinetic sand and i got it from dollar store the box looked like this i thought it's gonna be more but actually when you open it up it looks like this but it's only four bucks so not too bad it comes with three tools like this blue tools and uh, for this one i have it from before so it's just like a sand toys so basically he can mold like a sea star like seahorse and stuff he's so happy and <laughs> what shape is it honey star sea star yeah and one and a half hours later it's still going strong yeah brendan do you still like it? <laughs> so this is day two. We are playing with the sand. Last time he played for three hours and let's see how long it will last. And uh, now I'm getting smarter. I have this old box that I got from Dollar Store. So I suggest that you use this kind of thing instead of just put it on the table. Otherwise it will uh, get so messy. Because last time it was so messy. And so many people ask me where I get the kinetic sand. So I got it from Dollarama and it costs uh, $4 only. And I believe you can get it from Superstore or Amazon as well. But I think it costs a little bit more. But you can get more sand as well. What did you say? Three hours. No, three hours will be too cold. One hour. Yeah, one hour is okay. So what usually we put is, before I put like, uh, bathtub toys but he doesn't like that anymore so basically I put like water gun that I got last summer and I put like dump truck and shovel so basically that's his like beach toys and or sand toys and I also got the his cement truck that I got from dollar store so I don't really care if it got ruined I also bought something for the sand actually but I think I'm gonna give him uh, a try later on after he got bored with these toys I don't want to give him right now but I'm gonna show you what it looks like so the other toy that I got from the dollar store is this sand toys it cost me $3.50 I think it's pretty good deal rather than you got it from like a toy store or something it has like this one and it has like this thing I have so many already but it also come with this I think he's gonna enjoy this one he can put water he can put like sand and it will turn so after he got bored with his water gun I will give him this one to play at the bathtub are you having fun what is that quack, quack yeah so basically if he play at the bathtub if he play inside the bathtub he can play for like one hour if I let him more he will stay more but I usually like limit it until one hour only Next, you can also put like a uh, water inside like a big basket and you can do it whatever you want but I try to do it on my bathroom floor but it's kind of messy so I just put him inside the big bathtub then I just put like a small stool and put like so many like things that he can play with like sponge, this thing, bottles and ducks and submarine and also this one where he can squish the water squid the water and so far he likes it and i just put him on his swimsuits because i put him on his pajamas before and it's wet and i just turned on the heater so he's not cold and i don't know how so if it's not bad time this is another option that you can uh, do so this is just an extra basket that i have for um, 
extra basket so it's waterproof and then there's like uh, old bottle that I used for the IO project before and this thing for baking sponge and score it and this bottles and these cups and Brandon is obsessed with this one so if you don't have toys you just need to be creative you can use whatever you have at home and then just put water and he he liked it before when I just used like a regular water but at the end when he got bored you can always put like a the eye, um, like a uh, food coloring so you can always change the color and you can also put like bubbles I just use old shampoo bottles from hotels so you can use whatever that you want and just need to be a little bit more creative the next one will be bubbles I don't know how you can find like so many kind of bubbles like the long one the short one like the frozen one or uh, uh, spider-man one and he loves it at first he didn't know how to do it but later on he's an expert on that and he loves it Ula, ula. <laughs> wow! What is it, honey? I want to open it. Yeah, it's watercolor. You get 18 pieces with the paint brass, and it's only 2.5. Can you show mommy the paint, please? So it's 250, and you can get 18 watercolor. It says it's washable, and it has some sand there. So I'm gonna see how long does it, yeah. does it last for him to play so it comes with three packs and so far he loves it and every time he want to change color I just put like in a cup with water so he can have like a clean brush afterwards just remember to put like plastic bags on top of your table because I didn't before because I thought the paper is big enough but it was like it's so messy it got to the table uh, it's a little bit greenish if you can see I try using the magic erasers and nail polish remover but I have no luck even though it says washable so yeah just remember to put the plastic bag on top of the table but at least he looks so happy and very occupied you happy? yeah mm. I'm just painting okay Thank you. Are you. Do you like it? Mm. Okay. So you don't always have to food, uh, use like food coloring. You can also use like white water if you don't want it to be messy. Because we have carpet at home, so yeah, we just put like plastic back here, and then he's having so much fun with the water. So uh, compared to the blue water, uh, blue water is so much fun, but. Yeah, I need to do it at the kitchen or at the bathroom because I use the blue one and it's really hard to take it out from my finger. So, but I thought he will not like it if we just use the regular water, but apparently he uh, he still enjoy it uh, using the regular water. And just to let you know, he, he like to use the syringe instead of this one because I thought at first he loves this one compared to that one. So apparently he liked that one better. Now you like it? Wait. How to sweet? Are you happy? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, good. And another thing is they can also play with Play-Doh. So Play-Doh also take a long time. Sometimes he can play like uh, about one hour. We have a bunch of like um, tools where he can make like burger fries, like pretzel and stuff. Next are the Montessori inspired activities. <laughs> So this one I actually borrowed it from my friend and it's basically just like a puzzle but it's circular instead of like rectangle or square and then it has the animal's name here like in English and in Indonesian and he's just trying to find the matching animals and put it inside the circle and so far he loves it. Do you love it? Yeah. <laughs> And next 
we are playing puzzles and the puzzles is really interesting because it has a lot of like the constructions car like ambulance car like fire rescue team car and he's obsessed with that kind of thing and they also have two languages one in Indonesian and one in English so he can learn new things and uh, he loves he used to love puzzles but right now it's kind of challenging for me to make him like the puzzles again uh, yeah, so I need to change it up. I usually just store the old one on my cabinet and bring the new one out and then change it a bit so he's not bored. And I always need to like start a bit with him first and then he will start going by himself. So I just tie like this kind of uh, strings at the laundry baskets and then I just prepare some uh, washcloth and Brandon has the clothes pin. So show mommy how do you do it, Chun Chun? Can you show mommy how to do it? Can you pin? Oh, good job. Hi Brandon. Hi. Mm -hmm. So for this project you will need this laundry basket and then clothes pin that I got from dollar store I think I got 36 for one dollar 25 cents you will need scissors and you will need this any kind of rope or string I think I'm just gonna use this one I think I use I got it from dollar store so after that I'm just gonna tie it at the laundry basket and then I'm just gonna ask Brennan to hang like a washcloth or something okay and then put it there Okay, and then you can pin it with the clothes pin. Oh, you want to put another one? Okay. Okay, thank you. Good job. Then pin it. So next one, we're gonna play with the bits. So I got this from the Dollarama, $1.25. It comes with the string, but I didn't see this before. So I bought an extra wire stamps, but I thought I'm gonna use this for I something else. Uh, yes, you can. So I bought this in bunch color. I also have a different one, but I don't want to show him first, otherwise, he's, otherwise he will get bored. And basically he just needs to put to the bits on the string oh so yeah so far i tried to put it on the string that it came with but for me it's kind of difficult so i thought i don't think it will work for brandon but uh, but thanks god i got this wire it's called craft wire stamps and it works better i think with their small hand because he's still very young so i think it works better for him anyway this one is a fail so he was really angry when i teach him how to do it and put it on the wire so maybe if you have baby girl, they will like it more. But he just obsessed with playing with this because he thought he thought it is candy, but he don't like to put it on the stems. Yeah, I'm pretty sad. But so far so good. He loves the bits, but he just doesn't want to put it on the wire or on the string. And what do you have on the bowl? Rainbow. 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 So the wire and the string didn't work, but he was playing with this bits for a long time since the morning and he just put it on a dump truck, he dumped it and put it on the trailer as well. So yeah, there's other options to entertain your kids. So for the next activities, it will be using these colorful pom-poms and I got this tongue from the Play-Doh set and then I'm just, I'm just gonna ask him to put it on the blue cup here and this one as well, the one that we got from Glow and let's see whether he likes it or not. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pocket tongue, pocket tongue. No, I want pocket tongue. Uh, where come from? From Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. 
So right now it's 10 to 3, so let's see how long he's gonna last playing this one. Okay. I want... Hey, where it come from? From the Play-Doh. Good job. Good job. <laughs> okay, right now it's 5 to 3, so it only lasts 5 minutes. He doesn't really like this game. Mm. And I bought this one from my friend. My friend actually made this one, but I think Brandon is too young. He's just like impatient as well to match out the colors, but at least we try. And it's actually really nice when he gets older and he can learn all the difference of the colors. The colors were just too similar and he is really impatient for that one. And the next one would be the string and shapes. I borrowed this one from my friend as well. Uh, I think Brandon kind of enjoyed this one as well. He put all the shapes inside the strings. And it's, I think it's really Montessori inspired, like the one at school, uh, like the one that he's doing at school. will be this glitter glue that I got from dollar stores it has so many colors and he loves it happy yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you make yeah, yeah. Ew. <laughs> what are you making I don't know <laughs> what is it bubble. <laughs> I need to make more bubble. Bubble. and then more bubble. And next one, I just try to draw like some lines, some X lines, some wiggly lines, and some shapes so he will follow whatever it is on the paper. And he also used, like to use this punch stamp and then he just punch it up on a piece of paper and he can do this for a long time. So I got this from Dollar Store before. I actually have so many before, so my, my dad bought me when I was in high school like some of them are damaged maybe some of them like I still have this one this one but uh, it's been more than 20 years uh, I can still use it but for Brandon it's kind of hard so that's why I give him the one from dollar store only and then he will put the paper that he punched over here there's a, like maple leaf that I punch stars butterfly good job so he need to move the stones from this cup to that cup with small spoon or teaspoon and then I saw that he's doing this at school so I think he can do it next will be the house chores that you can do together at home uh, uh, that's so heavy <laughs> use your knife your knife yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we are making this pudding, Nutri-Gel and this uh, agar agar powder. We just mix it with sugar right now. So he's helping me mixing it with sugar. We're gonna add water, and after it's done, we're gonna put it on this place so it can shape like flowers and fruits. So this is something that you guys can do together. You can always put fruits inside, and you can like put the jelly on top, and you can always like bake a cake or something. But we don't really like it. So, so the pink one is done. Uh, I just need to put this on the fridge. And ta-da! It looks so pretty, but Brandon is not a big fan of jelly, but my husband and I love it. Next will be his favorite toys.
I'm thinking when it is close to Easter, I'm also gonna hide all these eggs around my house. So I'm gonna put something inside, like toy, small toys or chocolate, and he can try to find it. I'm gonna draw like a map. So hopefully he like it. Next, you can also play like pretend play. Brandon like to play like pretend play. Like on these sides, so I bought this from Dollar Tree before. So there's like a knight, a helmet, and also like the shields, and also this one. We bought it uh, on the event before, like the sword, and it also has like uh, this police set. I got this from someone else before, and then there's a police man suit with the phone and that one and the gun, and there's also doctor doctor's kit as well, and also like fire truck and like phone. He like to pretend to call like their emergency or something. So yeah, this can um, um, last for a long time as well, but. This one you have to play with him usually. Otherwise, uh, but if you your kid have like a siblings or friends or something, they can play together. Show mommy your shield. Oh, like that. <laughs> he also like this magma formers and this robot. They can also play with this magnet tiles. It can take a long time as well. Sometimes it comes with the square, big square, like triangle, so they can make whatever shapes that they want. Next, of course, they can also play with Lego Duplo as well. But sometimes they get bored, so you need to like switch it up sometimes. Next will be indoor soccer. So if you don't have a field or yard at your house, you can always play indoor soccer just in case it is raining or you need to do like social distancing because of the coronavirus. So there's another option for you. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to make more video about the coronavirus, South Country or social distancing. So make sure you check them out. I hope you like this video and I hope it can help when you entertain your three-year-old. I hope all the moms out there can stay sane while the school are all closed we don't know yet when the school will be open uh, i pray that this situation will get better soon